Alright, welcome to Let's Not Play Humble Bundle 8. And I'm going to show everyone why you shouldn't play or buy or even for a cent get this. Um, now, now, my major problem with it is that a bunch of the games aren't games. And that may confound a few of you, but it's something that's been happening for a while. Um, I, I don't want to say it started with Passage, because certainly there were toy type games and, and message type games before that. But um, this will be a good example. I, I'm told this is all you do, and then nighttime comes and Slenderman pops out and he spooks you, and you get all the lulls. So I'm going to give this a try, and we're going to wait till night. So. I'll have plenty of time to talk to you, don't worry. Now, and now my problem with these non-games is just that, well, they're not games, but they call themselves games. And that's very irritating, because no one but a game developer would have the gall to make something that's not what it's supposed to be, and then call it that. You know, no one, you know, no movie director, very few movie directors would go out there and be like, this is a movie. And then you get in the theater and it's just a film of nothing. Like, it's just blank film. And, well, that's not a movie that's blank film or it's just his family vacation. Well, no, your family vacation, I mean, yes, it's video. I mean, yes, this is a visual interactive format. I'm walking up a mountain, and oh, there are pretty things. How beautiful. How relaxing. This is great. But it's not a game. There are no objectives. There are no lives. There's nothing to do. And that's, that's the main thing that irritated me about Humble Bundle 8. There were three games like that. Dear Esther, which I didn't even play, because I know it's a game where nothing happens. I, I figure, well, there's the game where nothing happens. But Little Inferno also is a game where nothing happens. And they even kind of, like, act cutesy about it. Like, hey, this isn't, like, your normal, this isn't your grandpa's video game. Forget the fact that grandpa's video games were way better. They're like, this has no time limits or objectives or anything just sit back and enjoy man and it's like I kind of I'm getting sick of hearing that because I know um, Hotline Miami did an ending like that where it's like well what's the point of the game to enjoy it man and it's like well you know I know games are pointless but that's not an excuse to not give them a point I play a lot of World of Warcraft I know it's Pointless. I understand gaming is pointless. It's a recreation activity. I'm not going to discover the mysteries of life through it. But it's nice to pretend. I don't think I need to deal with, um, you know, people constantly telling me that, like, well, it's okay. Just enjoy it. Like, sometimes I want to be frustrated with a game or challenged or, you know, something. I guess, I guess the Humble Bundle is the wrong place to look. Um... And they, they had games like this in previous bundles, too. There was uh, Sword and Sorcery, which I guess the point was the music. And people say that about Hotline Miami, too. Well, it's worth it because the music. It's like, this isn't an interactive CD. It's not Silver Chairs, the freak show, you know? It's a video game. It's like, if, if you mention the music or the art before the gameplay, then I think that game's fundamentally failed. You know, I've never heard a review of a movie where it's like, well, you know, the movie is not very good, but their camera work is, is so impeccable, you should just go see it. Well, no, I mean, camera work contributes fucking art and audio and music contribute to what makes a game good, but it's, it's not, it's not, you know, it's, it's a secondary concern to gameplay and um, whether the thing's fun or not. And yeah, someone might have fun doing doing this, but they'd have fun doing anything. So I don't, I don't think that's a fair point. Like, yeah, well, someone will have fun wandering around a little pixelated landscape, but 
you know, that idiot will have fun doing anything. I think these are the things that turn into monsters, and pardon me if I screech, that's not a joke. Um, spooky stuff really scares me. Um, so it's it's just it's just stupid to, to talk about art and talk about images and I mean I, I hated passage when it came out because oh oh the thing's moving uh oh I'm really getting scared or is that just a graphical glitch so I can't tell is my guy swaying so like this is like I mean yeah there's a mystery here and it's neat but it'd be cool if there was some sort of objective like I had to survive I had to do this I had to do that Oh wow, and the moon's coming up. Like that's neat. It's neat. I'm not, you know, if this is neat as a visual piece of art. It's neat as interactive art. I'm sure there's a message. I'm, I'm sure the message is neat too. But that doesn't make it a game. I, I don't think I can die. Um, I think these things are gonna come and start spooking me and that'll be it. I don't think they spook you that much because no one's like, this game made me shit my pants, you know? So um, I may get spooked just because I'm that, that I'm that much of a pussy, but um, I don't think it's supposed to be scary. I don't expect there, there to be a zombie head come out and go, ah! or anything like that. So, so here's the game, and this is no longer a let's not play, it's a let's play, but this isn't a game. I feel I need to play some of these games to illustrate like well it's not really a game is it all right it's night it's time to get spooked but it's not really a game to me that's all i can say is like this is not a game and I don't see how you'd argue that it is a game. And the same with Little Inferno. Little Inferno is arguably more of a game. Dear Ether, I haven't tried, but that, that was the big thing about, about it when it came out, about how little of a game it was. So maybe, you know, I, I don't need to give that one a go. But, I mean, you know, can, can you call something this... Um, A, a, a undirected a game you know like there have been games where there's not a lot of direction and they're, they're pretty cool like ultima online never told you what to do a lot of games never tell you what to do and you explore and you have fun but they still have underlying systems where your character can engage in combat he can engage in these systems which have rules which which determine outcomes and are generally like skill or tactics based and you know that's that's enjoyable um you know it's funny because i like i like some visual novel games and they're not really games oh, did, I, did i beat it i'm tripping out so they're not really games at least i don't think oh if this ends it's gonna kill the audio Let's get out. Um, oh, no, I'm still here. So, they're not games. They're more like storybooks. But they still have things where you make a choice and it affects the outcome. So, they, they are interactive. This really isn't. I mean, it may be in a very, very small way. But I, I, just, I just can't justify this. Hey, this is a game. Um, I don't know why people want to do that want to like trick people and be like hey this is a game because when i got this i saw it mentioned on a website i visit i'm like well maybe it's a cool game and i got it and i realized hold on a sec this isn't even a game and i was kind of fooled because well it's in the humble bundle must be a game right but it's not a game and that they kind of pissed me off, especially with Little Inferno. I thought, oh, it's some game where you're like a little piece of fire and you know you run around burning stuff. And but it's not. It's just a game and it's some weird touchscreen crap. It doesn't doesn't grab me. Um, now I, I think I've gone on enough about how little of a fucking game this is. So beyond that, um, I have a problem with the selection. 
you know, so there were like three non games. Then some stuff I played. Oh, I didn't get the bunny. Um, you know, there, there was that and then there was like capsized and I haven't played a lot of the stuff, but capsized is a good example because I liked it, but it's nothing that amazing. You know, it's, oh, it's, here's another side scroller with freaking um, hand drawn looking art. Like, all right. I mean, I played Braid, you know, I don't get it. And that's just it. I mean, maybe it's just like indie games in general just piss me off. But I don't know what it is, you know, and especially with something like this, I don't even think it's a game. You shouldn't call it a game. Passage shouldn't have been called a game. Um, it's, it's kind of obvious what a game is. And it's irritating when someone's like points at a a toy. Like I have a toy spoon here and when you put it in your mouth he goes Pikachu, listen. Pika, 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 Pikachu. And you can sure you can play with it. And you could have a lot of fun with it. But that doesn't make it a game. Like that's something a baby would say. He's like, I wanna play with my Pikachu spoon game. And maybe in that baby's brain it is a game. You can make a game out of anything. But that doesn't make it a game. You know, a game is something where you can't help but make a game out of it because you're playing a game that might seem a little stupid but i'm living in a world where this is a game to people this is a game and you know it's i wish it was that i mean maybe i am stupid maybe i don't get it maybe there's some underlying way in which this is actually a game you know when you write enough thesis papers this will become a game but i don't think so I don't think this will ever be a game, um, just because it's not. It has no objectives, it has no ends, it has no goals, um, it has no other characters. There's just not much to it. So it's a exploring kind of open-ended um, art game, and that's it. And that's pretty much all I have to say on it. You know, nothing even happened at night. I was promised something would happen at night. I walked into a circle of fireflies. Is this, that's just that rock that I was at last time. If I stare at the sun, does it go down faster? This video is probably too long at this point, so. Um, and here's the only cool part about it. Here, watch how you exit the game. Oh, you close your eyes. Wowie zowie. So that's it with uh, Let's Not Play. I seem to be dozing off here at this beautiful landscape. Why can't this beautiful landscape keep me interested in something that's not even a game? I wonder. Um, maybe you'll find it out one day, indie developers. Thanks, and goodbye.